Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily. I like to make things and lately I've been making a lot of things. I would say ever since October started I've been in full craft mode so I wanted to share with you all what I've been making. I think I'll start with some of the finished objects that I have made in the past couple of months. The first few items that I'm going to show are for my sister's baby, who is not yet born, but will be soon. And the first object is this baby gnome hat. It's made out of wool, felt, and linen. It's lined with linen, and it has these ties. I can kind of show you what it is supposed to look like. Um, the pattern is inspired by Thistle Thistle's pattern on Instagram, um, but I made, kind of made my own um, pattern based on that. And then I also have this um, baby bucket hat that's made with scrap yarn and it's yarn that was left over from a baby blanket that I was crocheting for that baby um, so I wanted to use it up it's all thrifted yarn um, so maybe I'll show a picture of the blanket that I made it's inspired by one of my favorite artists, Andy Goldsworthy. And it's inspired by his Rowan Leaves and Hole. And then I recently finished this, also a gnome hat for the baby. And this is also thrifted yarn. And this one is definitely for a newborn, so it won't really fit my head. And I just love the way that it is constructed and I'm going to make more of these for my other nieces and nephews. This one is made with the yarn is Knit Picks Andean Silk in Cranberry. It's super fine alpaca silk and merino wool. So that was a really lucky find at the thrift store. I think I want to make one for myself, too. I will show you this fabric that I bought to make a baby onesie tee for my unborn niece as well. It's 100% cotton jersey that I bought from Mill End in Portland, Oregon. And it's just this nice olive color and I think that'll be nice for that. I will show that in the future when I start actually making that. So I think I'll show you the other objects I've completed and then I'll get into current objects that I'm working on, works in progress. And then I will talk about yarn that I have intended projects for. So here is a tote bag made out of scrap yarn that is also left over from the baby blanket and the accru part of the bag is from a repurposed sweater vest that I thrifted. So this is for my mom. And it's, yeah, I think it's nice for carrying your vegetables, you know, that you buy at the farmer's market or such things. And I'll um, put the designer um, whose pattern I used in the description, or I'll put it on the screen somewhere. And then we have this bucket hat, which was the first bucket hat that I made before the baby one. And it is for my cousin. I will also link her 
Etsy shop and her Instagram because she also makes a lot of cool things. And this is leftover yarn from the baby blanket as well. So it's really one of the most satisfying things to me is using up all the materials that I have and not wasting anything. So making scrap things is extremely satisfying to me and relaxing. So next is this crocheted net market bag, which I've made many of these before. I'll also put the pattern on the screen or um, in the show notes. And this is also a, a gift, a thank you gift for someone. It was also the thrifted cotton yarn. I dyed it with kutch to get this color. It used to be yellow. And then I have completed objects. I finished these today. This is a pair of Lovica mittens. They're Swedish mittens. And these are based on a pair of mittens that a Swedish person knit for me. And I love them. So I based these off of those mittens and the ones I have are white, which I think is very common. And these ones are made out of thrifted wool yarn um, that is vintage. And I dyed it brown with black walnuts that I foraged locally here where I live. Because the original color of the yarn was not quite white, it was an off-white or an acru, and I thought maybe it would be cool, but after I was done knitting them, I decided I didn't like it that much, that it wasn't pure white, so I dyed it brown, and I really like the result. And I think that the person for whom these mittens are intended will really like it as well. All the yarn used in these is thrifted. So that is also another thing that I find very satisfying is to thrift and repurpose yarn wherever possible. And I also use all natural fibers whenever I can. So I think that's it for the completed objects so far. Now I'll show you things that I'm working on currently that are not quite finished yet. And why not start off with this? which is a project that has been several years in the making. I think it's because I'm not a milliner and I don't really have the proper equipment or skills to make hats. So I've been kind of slowly trying to figure out how to do it, but really I'm just lazy. <laughs> but this anyway is a Holy Mountain hat. If you've ever seen the movie The Holy Mountain directed by Podorowski, there is a hat like this in the film. So I'm attempting to make a hat and it's felted. I'm needle felting it with alpaca wool that I got from a local farm in Winlock, Washington when I used to live there. And it's um, black alpaca wool. And I made this hat form. I sewed it out of burlap And stuffed it and then I put the I, I'm felting it with a needle felter on top of this hat form um, it's not really hasn't worked very well um, but I think I'm gonna pick it back up again and try to get it to try to finish it soon because you just can't find hats this is extreme anywhere unless you have it made for you or make it yourself um, so, moving on to works that I am currently working on. One of them is this stuffed rabbit, and I will link the pattern and designer in the show notes, and I will maybe put it on the screen, I haven't decided yet, but I'm very, only just started it, so I'm not very far with that one but it's gonna be really cute. This is also a gift for someone. 
And also the yarn for this is somewhat thrifted. It's a mixture of thrifted yarn. Actually, most of it is thrifted. And then the other yarn, I had to buy a few of the pattern yarn, the yarn that the pattern called for, which was the drops yarn. And there's a few different kinds of yarn in that. And I will write that in the description. I also wanted to show you the needles that I am knitting this rabbit on because I also got these needles at the craft thrift store. The It's called the Austin Reuse Center, I think. And they're really cool. I'll show you the package. They're vintage needles. And sorry, you probably can't see, ver see it very well, but here's the label or the package it came with this and I just think it's really cool uh, retro design mod design so I think it's cool when you find things like that they're nylon I think and then I also got these I think nylon needles in the same size from that thrift store because the pattern needs an extra needle so that's what those are for. And now I'll get to the yarn that's in my small stash that I keep in this basket. So it all fits in this basket. And I'll show you the yarn that I have projects definitely intended for. Um, I have a few more yarns besides this, but I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with them yet. So I will talk about those later when I know exactly what I'm going to do with them. So firstly, we have this yarn. I'm going to make three more of these elf hats. And I forgot to mention that this is, I like, Another reason why I like this pattern is that it's a vintage pattern, or at least it's vintage inspired. This is a pattern from maybe the the like 40s or 50s or 60s <laughs> um, that I've seen a lot. Um, people make these hats and it's just a really fun construction. I find, I think it's an ingenious construction. So I'm going to make three more of those hats and one of them is going to be made out of this one and I'm going to dye this green. So I'm going to dye it, over dye it with blue to make it green. And this one's for my nephew. This is also thrifted yarn that I got in Alaska when I was there. It's Lamb's Pride. Oh, it's 85% wool, 15% mohair. Luxurious. And the color is Lemon Drop. But I'm going to dye it green. And then... The other hat for my other nephew is going to be made with this same yarn because I still have some left over and it's also dyed this color with the black walnut so it's brown. The last elf hat I'm going to make with this pink yarn for my niece. And this yarn is from the knitting shop in Chehalis, Washington called you and I, and it's from their local sheep, it's from their farm. And I think the label's in here, so maybe I can read it. Yeah, it's called Bunker Creek in Summer by Black Sheep Creamery Yarns, and the color is roses. I'm using it for the rabbits inside of the rabbit's ears, but there's going to be plenty of leftover for a hat and I haven't decided yet but I might add some mohair into this into this one or maybe also the other ones too if I have a color that goes well with them like I might add some turquoise mohair into this one and that would be interesting because my niece likes rainbows and unicorns and fairies and princesses and that kind of thing so I think she might be into that then I have this yarn that is leftover from another project. It was a balaclava 
and the designer is Witra Designs. I don't know how to pronounce that. She is a, I believe, Norwegian knitwear designer. I'll link that in the show notes and maybe write it on the screen. This is leftover. I did, I modified the pattern to make it a two-colored fisherman's rib. So I think I will use this yarn to make a baby-sized one because that's how much yarn I have. Um, enough for a baby-sized one. So I think, I think that's what I'll do with that yarn. And then I have this leftover yarn that I bought in Alaska. It's 100% wool. It's also thrifted yarn. It's really, really nice. It has a lot of air in it. It's very soft. And this is one thing I forgot to show you earlier, which is a hat that I made out of that yarn. And it's a fisherman's rib, which is one of my favorite knitting stitches to knit. It's really relaxing. And I did a Chinese waitress cast on on this hat for the first time. I don't know if you can see it. I haven't figured out yet how to get my camera to autofocus, so sorry about that. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know in the comments. Hopefully in future videos, I'll have it more figured out, but this is a cool hat that I really like a lot. And with the leftover yarn, I think I might make a top, like a, maybe a crop top uh, tank or something of that nature. I may even combine these two to do a two color fisherman's rib or possibly two color brioche stitch design, but we'll see. Then I have this yarn that I also got at a thrift store. We have a really cool thrift store here that is specifically for crafts. So it's really nice. I've gotten a lot of really good yarn there. This is 100% wool. The brand is Painted Desert and it's really nice. I think it'll make some really nice socks. So yeah, I will do that at some point, probably not soon because I have a lot of other projects before that. And then I have this also thrifted from the same place, 100% cotton red yarn that I'm going to make another crocheted mesh bag out of at some point. It's vintage. It's made in Greece. And the brand is Butterfly. Don't know if you can see that. And then I have a 100% cotton sweater that I thrifted. It's a Banana Republic sweater. But the yarn is really nice. And I don't really like the sweater, I don't care for it. So I have no scruples with recycling the yarn from this sweater. So I'm gonna recycle the yarn from this and make it probably into another sweater of some kind. I might dye the yarn, I often do that. So I think that is about it for now. I do have other things that I have been working on. I've been dyeing some fabric and yarn, and maybe I can show those in a future video. If you're interested in that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching my first video. I'll be talking more in the future about what I am making and sharing that with you all. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to chat with you. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share, and see you next time.